You reaching, bro. <laughs> reaching, bro. Stop reaching, bro. Leave me alone, bro. Real shit. I'm done talking about it. I don't talk to the media. I don't never talk to none of y'all about nothing crazy. You feel me? So, I don't fuck with you. When you see me, nigga, don't fuck with me or you're going to get the same motherfucking energy. You come up to me, whatever, it's going to be that. I ain't tripping, bro. Just stop talking crazy about me, though. Because I'm on your ass, bro. Every time you talk crazy, I'm on your ass, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I might make my own podcast get the tweaking on your ass, bro. <laughs> Fuck roll with you, nigga. Fuck with the raw nigga, brody. Recently, Shakur Stevenson clap back at clickbait artists or clickbait YouTube artists slash fanboy slash fake pro black Dante's Boxing Nation and you can see in the video he basically told Dante you know you, you being a hypocrite why are you trying to criticize me come at me because I was bigging up Ben Rodriguez and stuff like that and he has a point because you know Dante he likes to make everything fucking all you know, like a racial narrative and shit. Try to get views in his in his page and whatnot. He's doing everything to try to, you know, get the views pretty much. This is the same Dante's Boxing Nation who decided a few weeks ago to shit on Terrence Crawford because Terrence Crawford had his top five pound for pound list and he had Niowa Inoue in that number two. So he got mad to try to criticize, uh, well, basically he did criticize uh, Terrence Crawford because... He didn't have Earl Spence at number two. Well, the thing is, is that that's Terrence Crawford's pound for pound list. So I don't even know what you mad about, bro. And then on top of that, this man made a video shitting on Andre Ward. And it's just kind of funny that, you know, this guy, he be trying to preach that pro-black shit, right? And this motherfucker done skipped the first rule of being pro-black. Like, his woman is not even, is not even black. His kids are biracial. But yeah, he be trying to preach that pro-black shit to other people telling you, oh, we need to support other people and all that other stuff. And then he's doing it from Thailand. Thailand. You moved from America to Thailand and you were promoting Thai women with some other dude that you was promoting his page about how Thai women are so great. You know, how they treat their man better than certain, you know, other women and stuff like that. So miss me with that bullshit. Miss me with that bullshit. Sitting up here, I mean, you know, saying that Shakur Stevenson is not for the culture. Like, nigga, please. Your ass over there in Thailand. You could have moved to fucking in a country in Africa somewhere and create and started your business over there, but you want to move to Asian country. And then sometimes you be talking about, oh, I'm team, I'm team USA. Nah, motherfucker, because there are other motherfuckers that are that are non-black in the USA and you be sitting up there making videos clowning them dudes. So, miss me with that bullshit. And then on top of that, this is the same dude that sit up here and and, and uh was fanboying for other channels and shit a while back. He used to fanboy for fucking Ellie Setback. Then he started shitting on Ellie Setback. But before when he was fanboying for Ellie Setback, this was the dude that was promoting like, yo, me and Ellie Setback, we doing a collab, such and such and such. This motherfucker ran and introduced his biracial kid to Ellie Setback on his video. That's what that dude did. Then he shit on Ellie Setback. Then he used to be a fanboy on Fight Hype, but because Fight Hype been getting more attention from Floyd Mayweather, this dude decided, I think it was about a year ago, to shit on Fight Hype. Like, this dude been going through a midlife crisis and shit. So, when he be trying to, you know, kick that, yo, I'm pro-black. Like, dude, you're not pro-black. Your ass moved to a fucking Asian country and you talking about being pro-black. And you procreating what non-black women. That shit don't even make sense whatsoever. So, I'm glad Shakur Stevenson clapped back on her. I mean, if y'all want to check out the video, he already live-streamed it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to go too much in details, but he did too. Dante's boxing nation. He said, "Look, how you gonna say I'm not, you know, I'm not with the culture, and how you gonna say I, I ain't mention anything about uh, Boost Ennis when I sat down with ESPN and had Boost Ennis in my top five, 
and he did. So I don't know what the fuck Dante coming at with this dumb shit from, man. That's why, you know, I guess that's what it is, man. When, when you ain't getting that attention that you used to get, you just do anything for desperate situations. You know, and it's funny, you know, he, he be making videos going in on Canelo now. I'm not even a Canelo fan, right? But I see, like, you know, him and his, his uh, protégés, they, you know, they make videos and, and, and talk about Canelo. But did you know Dante used to be the biggest Canelo fan out there? Because I remember when a lot of people thought that Lara beat Canelo, this motherfucker immediately made a video talking about, no, they don't know what they talk about. No, no, Canelo won that. And then also when a lot of people thought when Triple G beat Canelo and then the second fight was a draw, more than a Canelo win, this motherfucker made a video defending, he's like, nah, 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 Canelo beat him, Canelo beat him. But now he got videos for days, you know, trying to shit on Canelo and whatnot. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we already know what it is, man. It's all about, you know, trying to get the views that you can. And it ain't just him, man. We got other motherfuckers that's different race or whatever. They they do whatever they, they want to do just to get views. And, and they push these dumbass narratives and shit like that. Oh, and another thing before I check out. This dude, his subscribers are so delusional as fuck, man. I think they just be fucking instigating for the most part, to be totally honest with you. They just be sitting up there bigging his ass up in the comment section and whatnot. Now, some of his uh, subscribers do be challenging him on his fucking dumbass narrative and shit. So what Dante like to do, he like to go and, and try to reply, you know, he basically reply to the people that challenge him, but then he start using reflections in his fucking comment section. But the ones that be sitting up there believing all this bullshit, I seen, I seen some of y'all motherfuckers in the comment section. Y'all were calling fucking Shakur Stevenson a fucking Uncle Tom, a dancing Tom, fucking Shakur, and, you know, he sold out and everything else. And it's just kind of funny that y'all say that shit because Shakur Stevenson is basically getting married to his uh, baby moms and whatnot who happens to be black, and he has a black child. So when y'all say that dumb shit, y'all sound stupid, especially on a channel that a motherfucker... That ain't even with a black woman. A motherfucker that's making kids by non-black woman. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be sitting up there hyping that shit up. And I seen some of y'all motherfuckers that went to that fight hype channel. And y'all was sitting up there basically trying to play both sides. Y'all was, you know, dissing Shakur on Dante's page. And y'all go to fight hype. Y'all like, yeah, yeah, Shakur, yeah, talk that shit, man. You, yeah, we believe you. We rocking with you. I see y'all motherfuckers. I'm going to start exposing y'all dumb asses in the comment section be sitting up here playing both sides of the fence i seen a dude in fight he was like at least he admitted he was like yo man i'm glad you respond because uh fucking dante had me thinking you know something different about you like you dumbass motherfucking commenter man what do you mean dante had him, you thinking something different about him like you can't do your own fucking research that don't even fucking make sense man because all all shakur did was big up fucking bam rodriguez like, y'all motherfuckers are so delusional and dumb, man. With that being said, man, I'm out of here, man. Peace.